love the Lord. But do they really? What is worship? I want to give you an expression of something. I want you to think about it. A little boy comes, a little boy comes home one day to his mother and he says, Mama, I love you. She said, well, isn't that nice? He said, yes, ma'am, I love you. She said, well, then why don't you go out in the kitchen and wash the dishes because I have diabetes. You know what's diabetes? You can't stand on your legs because they swell up and you have sugar problem and all. Okay. She said, well, you just go wash dishes for me. It'll be very nice for me and I won't have to get up. He said, no. No, but I love you. She said, you love me, that you're not showing it. He said, I'll show you this. Look, I brought this for you. Chocolate candy. She said, I got diabetes. I can't eat that, I'll die. He said, yeah, I know. But I like it. I'll eat it for you. Because I love you. Now, wait a minute. The next day, he comes in again. Mama, I love you. Well, isn't that nice? I really love you, Mama. Okay, why don't you go outside and mow the lawn for me? Mow the lawn because I have asthma. And if I go out there and mow the lawn, it's going to get, you know, and I'll be sneezing and coughing and I can't, you know, so go out and mow the lawn for me. No. You say you love me. Yeah, I love you. And I got something for you. Look, I brought for you flowers. I got asthma. I can't be around. <laughs> if it can't be... <laughs> the flowers... <laughs> Get the flowers away from me. I can't be around the flowers. Yeah, I know. But I like them and I'll smell them for you. Now, you can see real clear from the example I gave you. Does the boy love his mother or does he love himself? Which one? It's clear. It's so clear. So when somebody said, I love Allah, where's the proof? Where? Now I already quoted to you some things from the Bible. Why don't I talk about the Quran for just a minute? Is there a verse in the Quran that tells you about love, about love for Allah, and how to demonstrate it. Let's look. Oh. Chapter 3, verse 31. Al Imran. Kul in kuntun tuhi bun Allah, fit abi uni yubikum Allah, wa yagfirukum the nubukum, wallahu for Rahim. And this is Allah telling Muhammad وسلم, what to say to people when they say, I love Allah. Say, if you really love Allah, follow me. Then Allah will love you. And he will forgive your sins. Because he's the forgiver. He's the merciful. When does Allah love you? after you follow Muhammad Is it okay just to say, I love Allah? No. This verse makes it very clear. If your worship is for Allah, follow the messenger. Ati Allah wa ati Rasul. Obey Allah and obey his messenger. How many times do you find this in the Quran? But there's one there's one verse in the Quran when it just says, Atiyah Rasul, obey the messenger. Obedience to the messenger is obedience to Allah. That also goes the other way, doesn't it? Disobedience to the messenger is disobedience to Allah. What is disobedience? What do you call it in Arabic? Fasik. Fasik. Fasikun. 
Allah says in the same surah, Al Imran, Kuntun khayru umatin ukrijat lin nasi ta'maruna bil maruf wa tanhawna anhil munkar wa tu'minuna bila. Now most of the us stop right there and we don't know there's more to the verse. This verse up to this point is said you're the best of nations raised up because you call to al maruf and you forbid al munkar and you believe in Allah. What is maruf and munkar? It is to call to the oneness of Allah and to follow his commandments. In this case that's the meaning here. Because in the next part, munkar is anything that takes people away from Allah and away from the right belief. Because otherwise you could not subjugate the belief in Allah to these two things. How can you say I believe in Allah but you're not willing to do these two things? And then the verse continues anyway and it said, And if the Ahl Kitabi had believed it would have been better for them. From them, min whom, are those who have iman, faith. But aktharuhum, most of them are pasikun. I took this verse and I went to a preacher and I asked him, I didn't tell him where I had it from, I just said, what would you say, what would you say if somebody said, some Christians have faith and they're believers. What would you say? He said, of course. I said, but what would you say if they said most of them are disobedient? He said, I'd say that's somebody who really knows what they're talking about. And I asked him why. He said, because Christians are ordered to keep the Sabbath and they don't come to church. They're ordered not to lie and they lie all the time. They're ordered not to steal, and they steal like crazy. They're ordered not to make zina, and I don't want to tell you about that. I think you heard too much about what's going on in the West anyway. They're ordered not to make envy, hasid. We have the same order, and they do it all the time. So he said, yes. Who said this? I said, Allah said it in the Quran. Allah said it in the Quran. It shocked him. It shocks them when I show them that we don't have something different from what they have. In fact, the problem comes in because they don't follow their book. And now we're starting not to follow our book. That's what the problem is. Is that right? Yeah. But now let's come back to the subject of worship. I try to keep it real simple so somebody like me from Texas can keep keep in mind what we're talking about, figure it out. Worship is what you're devoted to. Worship is what you think about all the time. Worship is what consumes your time and your money. That's worship. Just because you say Allah, 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 the Christian says the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, and maybe Jewish said, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. But in the meantime, you spend all your time and your money on the game, watching football, keeping up with the scores, worrying about the stock market, falling in love with the new cars that just came out, latest computers, latest technology. Whatever it is that you're hung up on, that's what you're worshiping. Whatever it is that makes you late for Salah, that was what was more important to you than Allah. Whatever takes you away from the remembrance of Allah is what you love more than Allah. Make sense? Yes or no? Oops. <laughs> yep. Because some people think as long as I don't have a statue in my house, I don't have a picture of something in my house, I'm okay. I'm worshiping Allah. My question is, when? You say, well, I go for Juma, usually, sometimes. 
last year. You ask the brother, did you pray Maghrib? Sure I did. Uh, last week, as a matter of fact. Now, the other thing that happens is when you take people's opinion or you're more worried about how people's opinion is of you than Allah's opinion and what Allah thinks of you. 